Twinkle friends, good to see you. It's Thursday, Thursday, May 28th. All right, let's ring our bell for circle time. Sing with me. Ring, ring, ring the bell so everybody hears. Time to gather round. Circle time is here. And our special friend today is Oliver. Oliver, or Captain America, right? Or the Explorer. He likes to wear that Explorer hat, Oliver. So let's say our prayer in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, thank you for my friends and thank you for Oliver, Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. All right. So let's try that weather song I taught you, okay? So if you're in my class next year, you'll be all ready to sing it. Okay, here we go. Look outside now, can you say what the weather's like today? Is there sunshine? Is there rain? Is wind blowing down the lane? Are there snowflakes falling down? Are there big clouds floating around? Look outside now, can you say what the weather's like today. Look outside your window and tell me what the weather is. Yesterday was such a sunny day, wasn't it? Right now at my house, it's just a little cloudy. But we can hope, right? So I'll put up cloudy, but you see that sun peeking out? So we can have fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And here's our day, Thursday. That's our Zoom day, right? So we'll see each other at 11 o'clock for sharing. And it's May 28th. Okay, good job on the weather song. Let's try the Days of the Week song. Do you remember that one? Get my star. Okay, sing it with me if you remember it. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Good job. So today is our school day, right? Thursday is today. That means yesterday, the day we already had that sunny, sunny day, was Wednesday. And then tomorrow, which I think is supposed to be another sunny day, is Friday. Friday. So there's seven days in a week. And your school days are Tuesday and Thursday. All right. Let's see what our work is today. Ooh, this is neat. This is a what comes next. So this is patterns which are really fun and we'll do a lot more with patterns next year. So I did one of them and I colored them, which you can do if you want. So there's a red square, blue circle, red square, blue circle. And that means what would come next? A red square because a pattern repeats over and over, repeats. I even made a pattern out of, if you still have your Play-Doh, I made a little ball and then a snake and then I made a little ball and then a snake and a little ball and a snake and a little ball ah, and a snake I dropped some of them <laughs> so if you still have your play-doh you could make some shapes and make a pattern with that. Okay, and then you have a counting page, just like you do with Miss Pearl, counting. So there's groups of objects, and you're going to count the number in each group, and then circle the group that has more, higher, a bigger number. So this one I did here, there's one, two, three, four hamburgers, and then right here there's one, two hamburgers and since four is bigger than two I circled the four so this group has more 
more. All right, and then your last page is, look at this cute teddy, St. Bernard. Today is the feast day for St. Bernard. So I want to read you the story about St. Bernard. And then you can color your bear. You can color him brown or whatever you want. I just did brown. Okay. It says, once there was a boy named Bernard who was born in Italy. When he grew up, he became a priest. Bernard built many churches and schools to teach people of God's love. Later, Bernard became a missionary in the Swiss Alps. Bernard taught the people there about Jesus. He also built two houses in the mountains to help travelers who were lost. These houses were named Great and Little Bernard. Because Bernard spent much of his time rescuing lost people in the mountains, he trained special dogs to help him. Today, these dogs are called St. Bernards. I bet some of you have seen the St. Bernard dog. They're so cute and so big. St. Bernard was a very good man. He helped people whenever he could. He never got tired of telling people about God's love for them. So Bernard is the patron saint for mountain climbers. So when you color your bear, you're gonna try to remember how brave Bernard was when he helped lost travelers in the mountains. And then it says, be a good helper to your mom and dad today or grandma and grandpa, or your brandy, okay? You guys are really good at being good helpers. All right, so that's your work for today. And I thought it would be fun to read, I bet some of you know Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit, did he get into some trouble? Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sand bank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dear, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I am going out. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting out young cabbages. But he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop, thief! Uh-oh. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoe among the potatoes. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster so that he might have gotten away altogether if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears, but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and implored him to exert himself. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter, but Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him, and rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in, if it, if it had not had so much water in it. Whoops. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully, looking under each. Presently, Peter sneezed. <gasps> ka -choo! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time and tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of a window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. 
Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright, and he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp from sitting in the can. After a time, he began to wander about, going lippity-lippity, not very fast, and looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was locked, and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out of the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a pond where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still, but now and then the tip of her tail twitched as if it were alive. Peter thought it best to go away without speaking to her. He had heard about cats from his cousin, little Benjamin Bunny. He went back towards the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hoe. Scritch, scritch, scratch, scritch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. But presently, as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His back was turned towards Peter, and beyond him was the gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go along a straight walk behind some blackcurrant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and shoes for a scarecrow to flight, frighten the blackbirds. Is that Peter's jacket? Peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the big fir tree. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in a fortnight. I'm sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made some chamomile tea, and she gave a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoonful to be taken at bedtime. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Oh, that Peter, he's mischievous, isn't he? I think there's a Peter Rabbit movie, or maybe even two now. It's not exactly like the story, but maybe you've seen that. Hi, it's Miss Pearl again. So I'm going to read you one of our favorite books. We're going on a bear hunt. Do you remember that? Yes, we're going on a bear hunt. Okay. Yes. Let me find a page first. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. We can go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going through long wavy grass. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Ooh, a river, a deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no, we've got to go through it. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splash, splash. We're going through the river. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, mud. Thick, oozy mud. 
We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Squelch, 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 squelch. You're going through the mud. Oops, I picked that page. There you go. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Ooh, a forest. A big dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, a snowstorm. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. They're going through the snowstorm. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Ooh, a cave. And now we're a gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Tiptoe, tiptoe. What's that? One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, and two big googly eyes. It's a bear! There's the bear. Quick, back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the snow, snow. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. back through the forest, stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip, back through the mud, squatch, 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 back through the river, splash, 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 back through the grass, swishy, swishy, swashy, swishy, 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 swishy. Go get get to our front door. Open the door. Up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back down the stairs. Shut the door. Back up the stairs. Into the bedroom. Into the bed. Under the covers. We're not going on a bear hunt again. All of them are under the covers in the bed. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Okay, my friends, let's try some of our letters on our alphabet mat. See what we have here. We have violin, v, v, violin, starts with V. And we have xylophone, starts with X, xylophone. And what else? I'm going to mix them up. Ooh, this one's fun. T -t 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 tiger. Tiger starts with T. Tiger starts with T. And all. Oh, what letter does this start with? Elephant. Eh, eh. Elephant starts with E. Let's do one more. Let me see what's in here. It's a octopus. Octopus starts with O. O. And Oliver, our sharing friend today, and Otis. We have two O's, don't we, in our class? So there's a big O. So if you were doing Oliver's name or Otis's name, you would use this O, the capital O. And then here's the lowercase O. Alrighty, good job on that. Let's roll our dice for a prayer. Let's roll our dice. Remember our colored prayer dice? See what we get? Roll it, roll it, roll it. And it's green. Oh, it's the Our Father. Our Father. I know a lot of you know that. 
So let's say it together. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So the green prayer is ye our Father. Okay, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, my friends, I'll see you in a little bit for our Zoom sharing. Bring something great. Let's sing our goodbye song. And hopefully Miss Pearl will read to you again at the end of our meeting. It's goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Time to go. Time to go. Thank you, friends, for sharing. Thank you, friends, for caring. Love you so Love you so. Bye-bye, my friends. And great job for Oliver. Special friends.